Greetings and salutations, Admiral Starquest here. In our last two episodes, we went old school on the old RTS. This week, we're going new school with General's Evolution, here on the Admiral's Review. get into it. General's Evolution. So, some interesting things about this. This is a mod. This is a beta, so don't expect perfection, because you're not going to get it. But you're going to get something fantastic. Trust me. You're going to get a badass RTS. Done by this guy. Gunship Mark II. Just outstanding work, sir. We love your work. You should support him. There will be links to, uh, to all of this, of course. Now, this can be purchased. Uh, you need Red Alert 3. And uh, I picked it up on Steam for $4, so you're not going to beat that price. It's goddamn amazing. It's just great. So, at any rate, there's three factions. There's China, the U.S., and the Global Liberation Army. Yes, I had to think about that for a moment. So, it basically is a hybrid that is going to not allow for campaigns. You're going to need to play uh, Red Alert 3 if you want to do the campaigns. This is for skirmish mode and the online uh, is available, which still I had some trouble getting games, so I'm not going to be able to show you that uh, quick match. I haven't fully figured everything out, but uh, we wanted to bring this to you because we really want to see this take off. This is an amazing piece of software. So it pretty much operates like Generals, and you have Generals, and you have uh, everything that was in Generals is pretty much uh, feels the same, but with the added graphic effects of the Red Alert 3 engine. Uh, I believe they call it, uh, or it might have been Sage. The uh, Oh dear lord, I, I, I read up a lot on this. I haven't played a lot of um, stuff after Red Alert 2, to be honest with you. I didn't originally take to Red Alert 3, and um, although I did, I did enjoy Generals quite a bit. There was, you know, some things I didn't like about it, but um, it was still, it's still a solid game. But this, this is bloody amazing. So we're gonna jump around. As you can see, the uh, gist of it is you're going to build your barracks, you're going to build your power, you're going to build your war factory. Same tech trees that you're familiar with. What's the, mission, sir? the resourcing is very much like generals. You're going to go out to the depots and bring stuff back. and It's pretty great. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, it looks like we're already under attack. That's right. Took me a minute to get hold of this, to get to get used to this whole what's going on because it's been a while. But you can zoom in, you can zoom out. We're gonna get more into the uh, combat graphics here shortly. I might have lost this one. I played uh, quite a few, just really uh, sucked into this. Uh, we're gonna get to some uh, some. Uh, here we go, here we go. We're getting into some some actual action here. We've got our infantry moving. We've got a war facility up, so there's the uh, rocket guys, which I am now going to engage with my infantry. Getting close. These are the global liberation fellows. Uh, get in there. Get them. Get them, boys. Kill them. For what? I don't think this has formations. I haven't checked. I don't think it would really work like it did with Red Alert 1. I did enjoy that aspect. It's, but this is probably wouldn't, wouldn't fly. 
So I'm hoping to get some uh, more what units. Is, more, let's see, here's some incoming. Go, boys. Kill them all. You have them outnumbered. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you have it. I know this is sloppy. I'm not fully familiar with the uh, strategic placement of everything yet. Just getting in here and getting some killing done. Search and destroy, that's right. So, you can fortify buildings as in generals, which I was a very big fan of. I love the fortification process. Um, although in generals, you know, I always felt that the, uh, the grenade guys always cleared it too fast, you know. It's, it's, they're all specialty units, but in this uh, I noticed, but um, it takes a little more. Okay, here's some armored units coming in. And the other thing is this seems to fix the fortification process, so it's harder to take people out of the buildings. Although that seemed to go down pretty fast, but here I come. Coming in with my, my tanks there. There's a laser tanks. Alright. So there's the veteranization process, which inspired me to uh, secure the hospital, which will then will repair your units. Your infantry, that is. Alright, so let's jump ahead. Oh, he has some good carnage. Yeah, look at that. Starting to get my units together. That's right, I need win this one. This is the second match I played. Okay. Eventually overpower them. I'll start figuring out what these uh, various units do. I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Go, boys. Rally back. All right. Take a new position. We'll lead the way. All right, so let's take a moment to check in with our co-host, Jordan Weaver, a.k.a. King Kong GI. I see I got a message from him just now. All right, sir. I got a uh, Command and Cochrane download, and um, I'm waiting for further instructions. Let me know what to do. God damn it, Weaver. That was three episodes ago. Oh, by far, the worst co-host ever. Alright, so... I ran a little long on that first part, so we're gonna cut straight to my assault as China on the Global Liberation. Guys, this is my big mechanized attack, and uh, you'll see why I love this game. And then after that, we'll take a quick look at the um, network and wrap it up, because this episode's already... A little bit longer than it should have been, I believe. I think we're over. Here's what I love, though. I think this is my favorite faction. I think China's. I haven't even looked at all the weapons. They're just something. Look at this. Look at the carnage. Those things are badass. My tank's moving through. I'm pushing on them now. Got him contained. There we go. Oh, look at that flamethrower activity. Brutal. Beautiful carnage. If this doesn't get your blood pumping, I don't know what will. It's just something wrong with you. This is spectacular. Here I come. There's quite a few of them there. GLA guys are pretty effective with their rockets. They do some stuff. Yeah, there it is. Brutal. Look at that. Look at that machine gun fire. tank over here. My APC. This is my infantry. Cover the chopper. Take those RPG guys out. Oh, looks like they're going down now. 
This thing's badass, and this is veteranized now, too. Love this helicopter. I believe it uh, transports uh, troops. I didn't get around to uh, trying everything out. I've got weeks of fun here. And I hope you do as well. And of course, you know, I'm going to donate money out of my own tight pockets. Creators, this team, uh, this is what, you know, has been in the works for eight years. 12 years total. Uh, now we're gonna take down the take it down. This is what you want to see in the multiplayer. Oh, I'm so excited. Boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. I must insist that everybody invest in Red Alert 3 for four dollars. Get them on. Donate directly to this creator. And um play this game. This game is amazing. Just amazing. I love it. This is uh, obviously a bit slow now. We're just killing the buildings and finishing them off. And we're gonna get it with the realities. We have to inspire these creators to uh, continue to work out the kinks. the main base right there. It's the Global Liberation Army's headquarters going down. Welcome out of for you. <laughs> Admiral Stockwest wins! Skirmish on easy mode! Third time out! God. I'm coming with a vengeance! I'll probably have to twitch feed this for hours. Game over. Normally it says you're victorious, but this is a replay. I actually had my original play, but I lost it. But fortunately, I found this because it took me a while. And uh, sometimes things go pink. Yes, and now we must talk about the network gameplay. Going online is super easy. You just do your EA account thing and put all that jazz in. I'm uh, Mr. Madstar. You'll see me around, I'm sure. I wasn't able to get any quick matches, but I didn't have enough time to really get into it. So let me just show you. You can uh, look at the channels. Let's see what's going on there. I'm going to host a game here. No, I tried to quick match. That's right. So, after a few attempts of that. I decided to host my own game for purposes of example. So, listen, the multiplayer is going to be what we make of it as a community. We need to work together here. Let's all get on board and kick this game off because, look, frankly, EA is not going to do it. It's in our hands. It's in our, our, our destiny. Our fate, that is. Our gaming fate. So, Find the uh, links. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Admiral Starquest, and this has been the Admiral's Review. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit like. Christ sakes, we're getting our asses kicked by Mrs. Madstar's Pixel Gun 3D promo. I mean, how can we compete with that? OMG, David is coming up with his Minecraft. That six year old's a killer. So. If you want to see more album shows, you better subscribe to Jimmy Vision. God damn it. All right. Here come the helicopters, so we all know what that means. End of the show. I'm Admiral Starquest, and this has been the Admiral's Review.